cyan, het, tet, and finally yod. And, you know, I've, I've been calling it yod. I'm from Arkansas. And because this is a hillbilly thing, that's what happens. But if you remember Yogi Bear, that's how, or, you know, uh, he also uh, uh, used to be a baseball player, Yogi. You remember Yogi Bear yeah. for the Yankees back when we was kids? Yes. So just remember that yod uh, for Yogi, and, uh, and I'll help you pronounce it better. But this, this letter... And, and, and we were discussing this a moment ago, is actually found in every letter of the Hebrew imagery. You can make it out because mm -hmm. you have that little curve. It's, kind of it's, sort of, it's sort of hidden in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a reason for that when we find out what the letter means. And uh, as we look at it, uh, it, it, it's a picture of a hand, uh, God making a wave, Remember, the first letter is the arm. Mm -hmm. It's reached down. Now the hand has been extended. Oh, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. We can extend. Hey, five and five. We're going to get to that too Woo. in just a moment. Yes. But it's yes. so beautiful. This, this, the, the, the Hebrew language, y'all, what I'm learning is it, 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 it just gives you a picture of what God is trying to do in our lives. Mm -hmm. And this letter here connects all those letters mm -hmm. and everything together. So uh, from this point on, we'll still be talking about this letter. Yes. And you add this letter to something, and it just makes it more valuable and more wonderful. So we're going to get started here. Uh, it is said to be the spark of everything. Why? Because it represents fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And and if you want to know what's missing in your life, you need a spark. Yes. You remember when we used to be kids? We used to sing a song. It only takes a spark to get a fire going. Yes. And uh, in Boy Scouts, you'd learn how to take two rocks and 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 hit those flint there together to get a fire started. But well, I think about I'm gonna interrupt you. Go ahead. I love this. We just had Fourth of July, uh -huh. and you had what for the kids? Sparklers. The sparklers. And I can remember this as a little kid <laughs> having those sparklers, and they wouldn't hurt you, but they, they would hit your hand mm -hmm. or your like your arm, and they kind of tingle. Tingled. Uh -huh. They sparked you a little bit. It then. burnt your hair. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you'd have hairless arms after that. But I mean, you would. You, it kind of energized you, doesn't yes. it? As you're like, whoa, you're kind of like, whoa, it's little kids. And then so, so then one of the little kids said, well, it ain't enough to the fire, you got to run with it, right? Yeah. Because uh -huh. you just get... Hey, we would fight and play pirates with them. I know oh what you're talking goodness. about. I got crazy. Uh -huh. but, but you can't help it because it's just like that fire and it's just, it's excitement, isn't it? And, and, and here's the difference. And this is what we're trying to explain to you when it comes to the gospel. Without Christ, you're in darkness. Yeah. The Bible says you've been blinded by the God of this world. Not yeah. the big capital G O D, right. but the little who who thinks he's, he's, he's somebody. Nobody. And he's nobody. He's nobody. And you're in darkness. But once you have come to the light, who's the light? Jesus Amen. is the light of the world. And we are to call to be lights of this world. Yes, sir. And that's what this letter's all about. It connects us with the light. So we can become the light. What do you have? The letter Yod. Yes, yes, <laughs> or Yod. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's good. And, and Hebrew says, For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, mm -hmm. even a jealous God. Can you imagine when Moses turned and saw the bush that was burning, wow. but yet was not conceived? Yeah. Y'all, we don't understand just how much power we have because God is in us <laughs> Hallelujah. and that fire it, you see you can you you can you can have more or you can have less you know I think most of us are like the old bottle uh, you know fire that we used to have we we'll go up and we we'll get one more here we have to turn around well folks God wants to burn fire in yes. us from the inside out yes yes, yes. and that is the experience we have in salvation. Amen. For our God is a consuming fire mm -hmm. in the book of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. So it's quoted in the New Testament as well as the Old Testament. He wants to consume us. And he wants but to not consume burn us. us up. No, he doesn't want to destroy us. He wants to purge us. Mm -hmm. He wants to make our life better. So we'll be right back with the second half. Right. Tune in, share, get someone online. 
I'm excited today because we're talking about the fire of God and it comes down out of heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Stay tuned for the second part. <laughs>